today we are doing the world debut and sale of Tiffin's newest Class A gas motorhome. This is the 2024 Tiffin Byway Model 38CL. We're going to show you all the features of the outside and inside, give you three things we like and three things we don't like, and we're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video welcome to the world debut of the byway now we've seen the byway at open house when mr lee tiffin president of tiffin motorhome actually walked us through it but now this is the first opportunity for us to do our review on it and for you guys to potentially purchase this motorhome if you like it before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody where are we today we are in ocala and we are looking at a Tiffin. Yes. And that, you know, it really tripped me out when I first looked at it because I thought it was a diesel pusher. It is a diesel pusher. Oh, it is. I thought you said it was a class A gas. Did I say gas? Yes. I meant diesel pusher. Yes. Well, it's, it was beautiful then, so I'm excited to see it now. Yes. And Andrea, that is also a valid point. We are now a Tiffin motor coach dealer here at General RV in Ocala. And that is both the gas motorhomes and diesel motorhomes. But this one's 100% diesel. Model is Byway 38CL. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome, Andrea, is 39 feet 6 inches. This sits on the custom Freightliner XCS chassis, straight rail chassis, has a 340 Cummins in it, it's a 6.7 liter with 700 pound feet of torque. Andrea, this is now Tiffin's entry level Class A diesel pusher. I might have called it a gas motorhome because the price is priced like a gas motorhome. But believe it, Andrea, it is a diesel on that XCS chassis. Look at the headlight design and everything. We got a diesel generator under the hood right there. Nice big front windshield. And then down here, we got chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the top of the mirrors. And then Andrea, another tell tell that it's a diesel pusher is this front entry bus style door. The reason why they're able to do that because your engine's in the back and your generator's up front. So while you're driving, this is gonna be a lot quieter than a gas motorhome because the gas motorhomes are sitting right on top of the engine. Look at the beautiful paint shop. Tiffin's made in Red Bay, Alabama. Can I get a roll tide? War Eagle. Yes, ma'am. Nice power awning with LED lights and frameless windows. Got an awning above the door as well. Yes. And then look at these tires, man, they're the Michelin's. 255-80R 22.5 with shiny Accuride rims. Andrea, can I pause for a second? Come here, look at this. Stay right there. Fleetwood, Ford, Integras, Coachman's, Winnebago's, more Fleetwood, Integras, Tiffins, Newmars, American Coach. Everything is here in our Ocala store. And it is so freaking exciting, isn't it? It really is. Coming on down here, Nexus. We do got a propane tank with a little bit of storage. And then Miss Andrea, bing, please put all the specs Ms. right Jen, there. Miss Jen, thank you. Miss Jen, bing, <laughs> please put all the specs right there for everybody who's watching on television. Hello. One, two, three, four. <laughs> nice to see y'all. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside, LG. Aluminum slam latch doors, Andrea. And look, even though it's straight rail, you still get a ton of storage. And look at these chrome handles here. Very nice. Wow. It's a lot of wind. Good storage. Dirt, Dirt devil. devil. Yep, centralized Central. vacuum. And you know what this is? Access to the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. I love the doors on here. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Some electronical components. Battery bank. Yes, ma'am. Instant hot tankless trim and water heater. And then here we got very nice storage. Coming around the back, Andrea. We do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. No ladder to get up on the roof. It is going to be a fiberglass roof. Uh, right there, we do have a backup camera. Again, 5,000 pound hitch and a nice looking rear. You know what I'm saying? Very, very nice feature. Right over here, 50 amp power cord with your surge protector. All right. Finishing up, you can see the hydraulics right there. Here's your DEF. 
Okay. Ooh. Here's your wet bay. Looks fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see in a wet bay. Clean, organized, easy to access and understand. Storage. Yes. We got this. Oh, sorry, Matt. We got the storage here. Yes. And another battery bank on a tray. Yeah, very nice. And then coming up here, we got a fuel fill and a little bit more electronical components as well. Andrea, the outside of the byway looks great, but it's the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. Each and every byway, but more. Much oh, more I think the car goes right there. I did it my, oh my. My way. You mean byway. I said byway. Oh. It's by it's each and every byway, and then I did it my way. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Look at this walkway. This, you're all business, Andre. I'm trying I'm trying to Yes. Perform. Somebody needs to be. 1,956 pounds. That's pretty good. Guys, look at this with the slide in. And look at this walkway. I almost can't believe it. So, <laughs> very spacious. Having no problem at all getting through. You can definitely open the refrigerator. There is the half bath and the master bedroom. And looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. Oh, what is the man? We have opposing slides in here. Hold on. What has he got? Wow, good walkway for opposing slides. If not himself, then he has not. Should I continue? You can do whatever you want, dear. This is your show. Hey, I'm just kidding, America. Guys, we're going to get the slide outs open. And before we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, this episode is sponsored by RVMattress.com. Now, you guys know we love Brooklyn Bedding in RVMattress.com. In this month, in the month of March, we have something extremely exciting going on. 30% off your purchase with what's called a dynamic code. So if you're interested in a new mattress for your RV, click the link down below and type in your phone number to that link. Brooklyn Bedding will then send you a text message that gives you a one-time use code that is 30% off. You guys know you can always get 25% off when you go to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. But if you're in the market for a mattress, make sure you join us this March to get the best deal of the entire year. Andrea. This is incredible. Why don't you like my singing? I love your singing. Easy now, easy now. Try it. look at how big, look at how big, look at how big in spacious this is. I'm calling this now. This is the most biggest space I've ever seen in an RV. Opposing style. It really, it, it truly is. It really is. I, I mean, look, we could practice dancing in here right now. I don't need practice, Andrea. Oh my gosh. But I can almost see this being a dislike for useless space. I call it a plus because. Definitely good for full time. I love, it's the mental space that I'm getting as well. We're getting started up front in the cockpit area. Trail. This is the Freightliner chassis. First and foremost, I got my auto leveling right here. Okay. Cup holders, air horn, auxiliary start, everything that you need. It's the Freightliner telescoping steering wheel. Up, oh, hang on. Yep. Telescoping steering wheel in, out, up, down. Right here, we do have our digital dash, Bluetooth camera, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you want. You can also see your left side, your right side, and reverse side. You got a little bit of storage there. Air conditioning controls. Here's all my buttons. And does this baby boy have an air horn? Woo! You know it does! We get a roll tie! War Eagle! Andrea, why are you War Eagle? It should be roll Somebody tie. It has to be opposite of you, you know. I, I do, do it just to get on your nerves. I, I hear you. All right. Tell, so tell me how we got in the passenger seat. It's very comfortable. Um, I do have a cup holder here. Lights, all that, fans, USB. And the cover for that is, no, step, no. Guys, I don't know where the step cover is, but it should be right here, but it's not. Okay. Like, like, I need some battery lock. 
Okay, anyways, there is a step cover that goes above here. Okay. And also both these power seats. Power seats. Swivel. Yep, and they're power. And they're very comfortable, actually. Nice. So we got some storage above there, Andrea. Show we do. us. And there also is a shade here if you want to pull that all the way down. Here, show us the storage. We'll show the shade in a minute. All right. Got very some good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then coming on back, Andrea, we do have a bunk over the cab right here. It's the Euroloft. Oh, got to cut the engine off. Tell me something good. I don't know how much it holds. I don't see the sticker. I don't see it either. It's a little bed, though. It's a little bed, Andre. I'm going to say. Maybe 200. Oh, that's Maybe not, 250. That's I don't know. That's not good at all. What's so that? I bet you. You ready? Wait, stop. Yep. Yep. Is it going to hook? The, the thing is up. Yeah. Oh, wow. See it? We, we need will, to put that down. We will talk about that a little bit later. Coming on down, Andrea, into the living room area. Check out this nice cabinetry. It's like, I'm calling it like a soft brown, right? It's like a natural looking wood, Yeah, right? it, it looks really good, but it almost looks, it's like a natural matte look. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe it. I think it looks really, really good. Let's check out these valances. See what Andrea has to say about these valances. Andrea. Approved! Oh, Andrea loves the balances. I like the balances. I don't like the wood with the balances. Ah, okay, okay. But very good. Tiffin's been doing a good job trying to keep up with it. Right here we got daytime shades and privacy shades, which is very nice. And we have that all around even at the uh, entry door right there as well. Right over here, we do have theater seats. Isn't it power? It is power. Mm -hmm. Power theater seats. Wow. USB cup holders here. And that power would work when the generator's on or when you're plugged in. And then we got a little bit of storage here. And then Andrea, check this out. I'm look one, one plus sofa theater seat. And I'm looking directly across at the entertainment center. This is a very nice TV. LG sound system right here. Right there, we got the power outlets and Now everything. that is on a televator, so you can also put it down and yes. use the light. And uh, right there, we got the tower power. Power, USB, and USB-C right there. And then right around here, Andrea, we got some storage. Look, look at that, the drawers with the remotes. You need a book just to work the remotes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a book. Don't You better believe that. And then look at the TV right here. Look, look, look. Bam. And, and then, then we get a nice fireplace. Yes, that fireplace does produce heat from electricity. And then you can see that when the TV's down, you have a really nice view of the outside. Beautiful and fantastic. And then over here, Andrea, here's the booklet you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is how you work your uh, Tiffin. Oh, wait, Matt, let me go over this. Oh, no, that's not Tiffin. Nope, nope. Okay. Storage above. Yes. Very nice, huh? What do you think about them apples? You like apples? Matt, you know I love apples. How do you like them apples? Nice. I mean, it looks like it's very comfortable. It's very low, though. Can I tell you? It is low. I like low. It's comfortable. It's spacious. Solid surface. But I love this. Do you yes. know what this is? Yes. So, actually, oh, I'd probably That's be better. watching TV just like this. Laptop here. Doing my thing. Checking my analytics, sitting right here, leg like this, comfortable, chilling, hanging out. I got the windows all around me. Andrea, I can't describe what I feel right now with the space in here. It's big, it's spacious, it's nice, and I'm loving it. Right over here, we also have some artwork. That's Alabama. You know what they call that in Alabama? What's that? Hi, that's Art Deco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Andrea, you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is 331,551 MSRP. Sale price, Andrea, you know it's a current 2024, so we're not allowed to publish sale prices on Tiffins, but Andrea, I promise you, I can get everybody the absolute Best price in America on any Tiffin motorhome, especially since we now sell them in Ocala, Florida. So if you guys are interested in buying a Tiffin motorhome 
All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me and a member of my team will reach back out to you guys and they will get you guys the absolute best price in America. And that's on all the brands. Ask my friend Joe Jackson. Newmar, Tiffin, everything that we now saw in Florida will be the absolute best price. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Andrea, show us this kitchen. All right, so over here, we have a nice cabinet with a shelf signed by Bob and Judy what? Tiffin. What? Bob Tiffin signed this one. Happy Trails, Bob and Judy Tiffin. Man, look, he signed it February 8th, 2024. Andrea, this motorhome is new new. It is very new. Thanks, Bob. All right, solid surface countertop. And then we've got some drawers, soft clothes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yes. I love it. I love soft clothes. And then you have a nice, really big panoramic window. How do you like that? I love How windows. do you like the backsplash? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Um, and then here, oh my goodness, these things are so heavy. We've got the three burner propane top. Dometic. Very nice. I get why they do it, but they're so heavy. Under here, we've got some more drawers. Yes. One more. Very nice. A convection microwave. LG, LG. that's huge, Andrea. It really is. Yes. Very sleek. Over here, we have more storage with the shelf. Um, a residential style sink that has, you know, good extension there. Very nice. Underneath the sink, we should have storage. Oh, yeah. Oh! Hey, that's a $176 trash can. Is it only $176 now? Congratulations. <laughs> Roll Tide. War Eagle. Look at this. Countertop space on both mm. ends. Mm. I did open this one, right? Nope. I can't remember. Okay, so we got a cabinet there. And then under here, we got some more drawers. Place for utensils. A bigger drawer. Yep. And another drawer. Love it. Next to me is the LG Residential Refrigerator, which has the lock on it right there. I love and then it. we've got the freezer. That's different. I haven't seen that kind of lock before. Yeah, I love it. And then let's see. Now, this is interesting. Whoa. Behind me, I have like two different things. So I'm going to go over here real quick. Double pantry. Oh, wow. that's not a pantry. That's a stackable washer and dryer. That is splendid, Matt. I did not expect that there. A Little drawer. drawer and a Dirt Devil centralized oh, vacuum. Okay, so this must be the pantry over here. Okay, good pantry, really big pantry. You got two big drawers there as well. Man. I know, right? All right, and now we're gonna go into the bathroom. Here's your electronics as well for your slide outs and everything, master lights. I love it, I love how easy that works. And here's the half bath. Oh. A little bit of storage there. Well, that's good. You can yep. put your laundry stuff in there. Yep, yep, very nice. Two drawers down there, Matt. Yeah, very nice. Got your mirror mirror on the wall with the uh, washer dryer there. Solid surface countertop. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet there. Okay. More storage up there. Just a little bit. Really nice here, Andre. Half baths always do a bad job, but you know what? This is Alabama. You know what that means? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. You ready? I'm going to translate so all the Alabamans understand what I'm saying here. Alabamans. Okay. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Hey, you better leave like, my Alabama people alone. Hey, I love Alabama. Roll Tide. War Eagle. All right, Matt, going into the master bedroom. It has a really good entryway with a nice pocket door right there. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. King size bed. Would you look at that? Windows on both sides. Storage above. Headboards with the lights. Both of those windows open as well. Let oh me see if my I can pop goodness! These see, open. I like that color wood that's on the headboard. I think they should have did that. Very, very nice. Good very storage. Nice. Oh, I love that. Also, look at that light switch there. You can turn on and off all the lights from the bed. Oh, electrical outlet. Power. USB. Yep. And then under here, we've got some storage. Same yes. thing on your side, Same Matt. Same exact thing on my side. Yes, ma'am. And let's see if there is storage underneath the bed. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yep. And now, that's a cute across, picture. 
See, let me Art. remind you of something. Didn't we go look? Didn't we go to a door like that before? Yeah, but that's not the door. But it was like in in Rome, right? Yeah. It was okay. Because the door had a keyhole. So we've got a wardrobe here. Very nice. I had the light just lit up. That was cool. TV. Store under. Just like that. Hey, it's the Wally from Dish Network. Hey, it's a Hoppa. It's the Hoppa from Dish Network. We haven't said that in a long time. We haven't seen it in a long time. Wardrobe. Right and then we've got a lot of drawers down there. Oh my goodness. See wow. Six drawers. Six drawers. Fantastic. I like that pocket door in the bathroom. You got a nice mirror right there. Step up and then good shower. Not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit of storage, shower miser system, really nice glass enclosure. Very, very good. Okay. What do we got going on over here? Dual uh, vanities. Yeah. Look at these dual vanities. It's crazy, but I'm going to start here because there is a cabinet right there. Well, that, that is your breaker box. Okay. And then over here, we've got a medicine cabinet. Nice. Solid surface countertop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hang on. Where's the camera? I done, I done messed it up, okay. We've got storage there. Yep. On, over here, we've got more storage. Yep. And in the middle, we got some drawers. Yeah, very nice. Two, two okay. drawers, another cabinet. Yes. Medicine cabinet. All right. And another sink. And, and then... Liquify, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, you can get that at primepoopposition.com. Thank you to everybody. And then right there, Matt, is some more storage. Good place for linens. Wow, look yeah. how deep that goes. Very nice. Two drawers? Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh. This is not a prime poop position. Womp womp. I am just way too close against the wall. Um, But you know what, Andrea? Overall, especially when you reach out to my team and you figure out what we can tell you a diesel motorhome, you know, that totally worth it just not for me not there well andrea that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's time to give people three things we like and three things we don't like what do we do first matt let's do three things we dislike about it first can i give you all three or do you have one i have one well the first one's outside dislike number one andrea i understand the byway is tiffin's entry-level diesel and it's made to be priced very very competitive but at this price level, I want a 50 amp power cord reel, period, end of story. These power cords are heavy, I want an electric reel. That's dislike number one, what's dislike number two? That was dislike number one. Andrea, tell me dislike number two. Okay, it's really it's really a small problem, but guys, the slide. I am not a big fan of the carpet on the slide. Ah, uh, yeah. Like this motorhome is so pretty, but I feel like it's just kind of like an eyesore. That's number two. Yes. Andrea, number three for me, I'm going to say the size of this shower. Nothing's wrong with the size of the shower. And in a gas motor home, it's totally fine. In a diesel motor home, especially with a rear bath, I think they could have put a bigger shower in there. That's number three. And you know what, Andrea? I'm gonna give you number four. You know why? It's America, that's why. I don't like the bed mechanism because somebody's going to break this. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't know if it would actually hit it. I think they have a good space between there. No, it, it was going, that's why oh. I demonstrated it. If that was open while the bed did that, you know, you're gonna rip that sucker off. Not a big dislike, just like a little extra dislike. Andrea, that's three and a half, four things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three and a half, four things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Back up, please. The amount of dead space in here, I absolutely love. That's number one. I'm gonna give you number two. The windows in here as well. The feng shui in here. I do not feel like I'm in a motorhome. I feel like I'm in a hotel, like a home two suites. Like I have actual living space. Just because there's a sofa and a TV doesn't make it a living room. This makes it a living room. You can fit four people right here. You could dance. You could sing. You could do whatever you want here. That plus the windows, how airy it feels. I love that. That's number one and two. Andrea, I, tell me number three. I have to say this, okay? I was really surprised when I walked in with the opposing slide. Yeah. How much walkway I had. Yes. Like it was like a class C because there was so much walkway and you could still use the bed. I love it. Not only that, Andrea, I'm going to combine, I'm going to give you like number four because we kind of gave you four dislikes. The amount of countertop space in here, the pantry, the stackable washer dryer and bath and a half. I love it. You know what I'm saying? 
And you know why, Andre? Because they didn't try to fit too much into this motorhome. But, Andre, if that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys... Oh, oh, I want to let everybody know. We're, we are going to be at an RV show coming up March 15th through the 17th. Check it out right there. We'll link it right there so everybody can see. It's either going to be the Orlando show or the Mid-Atlantic show. I actually don't know which one. But that's the review, guys. If you're interested in buying a Tiffin, please reach out to our team by going to generalrv.com slash matscash. We now sell Tiffins in Florida. And ask my friends, we will give you guys the absolute best price in America. So please reach out to our team. Andrea, what do you say? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Tiffin, they read the comments, you guys. They watch the videos. And with this being a new model... They want to hear your feedback, so make sure you comment. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.